Hello guys and girls and welcome back to our channel. I really hope you're enjoying the content so far and as promised I'm back with another helpful tutorial to guide you how to solve one very major problem. I bet everybody has been experiencing this so far. Accidentally deleting a photo or video from your Android smartphone. I bet the first question you're asking yourself is, is there a way to recover these files? The good news is that the answer is yes. And now if you're wondering how, this is exactly what this video is going to be about to guide you through a few convenient ways of how you can quickly and easily restore your accidentally deleted photos or videos from your Android device. And if you like such type of content and you're interested in data recovery, then make sure to subscribe to our channel in order not to miss any of our future episodes. Before we begin with the actual recovery methods, let us talk about Android 9 and why it is easier to recover files from this one. Actually, I'll first quickly explain where these files are residing. Usually, when we capture photos and videos, they're getting stored either on the internal or the external storage, if your device supports any external storage, because this one doesn't, for instance. The internal device, the internal storage, is partitioned into a few sections, and usually photos and videos are written to the data partition. Thing is that when you delete some files, photos or videos, intentionally or not, you know, the sectors where the data resides are marked as deleted. However, the data is still residing on these sectors for as long as there are no other files which are written on top of it. And this is exactly what we are going to take advantage of in some of the recovery methods. Other devices, like the external storage, understand the micro SD card if your phone supports such, have a slightly different recovery procedure, and we are all going to test how that works. Let's begin with the first method. Like a computer, the current Android devices are running on Android 9 and 10 and come with a dedicated, recently deleted folder. Any deleted photo or video is going to be transferred to this folder and stay there for at least 15 days instead of getting permanently deleted. And if you want, you can directly retrieve the photo and video from the recently deleted folder within this period. However, you might be required to enable the trash function in the first place, and that can be done in your gallery apps most commonly. Here's how you can do that. Go to the Gallery app on your Android device, tap the three dots on the top right corner and select Trash, or could be that the name varies depending on the vendor of your smartphone. This is going to list all the photos and videos you have been deleting in the past weeks. Choose the file that you want to restore, tap the Restore icon at the bottom of the screen. Keep in mind that videos and photos are going to remain recoverable in these folders like Trash or Recycle Bin for as long as you have configured it, but usually that's no more than 30 days. So it could be that if you try to recover any older files, you might have to use one of our next methods. A lot of Android phones nowadays have the backup and sync option, and one of the easiest ways to utilize that for photos and videos is indeed to use Google Photos. And most of current smartphones actually arrive with Google Photos out of the box. Even if you don't have the app, it's easily downloadable from Google Play Store. It also arrives with a trash feature, which can help you to undelete photos or videos from your Android device for a period of up to 60 days. Here's how we do that. We open the app menu, then we go to the trash function, and we look for the files that we need, long press, and tap on the restore button. Speaking of cloud-based backups, and since we are on the topic Google, something very similar to the previously reviewed Google Photos is Google Drive. And while it has a lot of similarities, let us talk about the specifics of how you can recover some of your files from Google Drive. Launch the app and make sure you're logged in with your proper Google account. Tap the menu button and check the list of photos and videos which is going to become visible on the screen. Simply navigate and choose the files which need to be retrieved. When it comes to retrieval of files on Android devices, the options could be quite many because most of these big vendors, ah, think of Huawei, Xiaomi, Samsung, LG and so on, usually these manufacturers integrate their own backup and restore, sometimes cloud-based procedure. So if you want another way of doing a proper backup and restore of your files, better check with the description of your smartphone's user guide. And most likely you're going to find another way where your photos are going to be properly backed up. If none of the procedures so far is helpful to you, then maybe I can show you the next one, which is going to be especially helpful when it comes to recovering data from external devices like micro SD cards. And this time we're involving our 
award-winning data recovery software called Recoverit. Let's go! It is one of the feature-rich SD card data recovery tools that is specifically tailored to perform photo and video recovery on Android. And unlike other recovery tools, it doesn't require any root privileges. So everything is going to be safe and sound and you're not going to compromise your warranty. First of all, take the SD card out of your Android phone and connect it to your laptop or computer using the dedicated card reader or USB converter. Now launch recovery data recovery software. Select the SD card as the location to recover data from and click the Start button. This is going to initiate the scan. It's going to take a few minutes. You can pause the scanning process anytime you want. Since the software is going to display a big list of all the deleted files, you might feel a little lost, but, you know, one step at a time. Figure out which are the files that you really want to recover. We also offer a preview feature, meaning that you can see the photo before it's getting recovered. And when you find these files that you want to save, just select all of them, click the Recover button, select Destination, and done! That was easy, wasn't it? But I know what's difficult. What's truly difficult is to stay calm and focus when you figure out Oh no, there are some deleted files from my phone! And I guess if you follow the channel regularly, you're kind of used to the fact that unless things are physically broken, and luckily this one isn't yet, <laughs> there are ways to recover your potentially lost files and that's why we're here to show you all these easy and simple to follow ways. And that's been everything for today's episode. I truly hope it was helpful and someone contributed to you successfully recovering your data. I think the best way to keep your data safe is to be proactive and find a good way to regularly backup the data. So in case of any questions, feel free to get in touch in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, that's a cool button. And subscribe for more practical data solutions. My name is Michael. Can't wait to see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.